in this video I will guide you through implementing dynamic routing in Astro static sites. Dynamic routing is powerful feature that allows you to create flexible data-driven pages while maintaining the benefits of static site generation. By the end of this tutorial, you will understand how to create efficient static pages with dynamic routes in your Astro project. Let's dive in. Let's first explore why dynamic roads are necessary. They allow you to generate multiple pages from a single template, making your code more maintainable and don't repeat yourself. They are perfect for content-driven websites where you need to create pages dynamically based on data, like blog posts, product pages or user profiles. They help maintain optimal performance since pages are still generated at build time preserving the benefits of static site generation. Now that we understand when to use dynamic routing, let me share my example. I will be using the JSON placeholder API to get our sample data. The plan is to create a dynamic route for each post using a single template. With 100 posts, we will generate all these pages using just one template. Isn't it that awesome? First, let's grab the API URL and paste it into the .n file that we need to create in our project's root. Then we will configure this API value in the Astro config to define and set up access to this value in our project. Now we are ready to create our template. I want the row to each post to be post slash slack. So I will create a new folder called posts inside the pages directory. Inside posts, we need to create a file named slack.astro. Astro will recognize this as a dynamic road. However, we still need to define which road are possible. To do this, we'll add a get static path function at the top of the file. This function will return all possible paths and add data for our road. Here a basic example with a list of slugs. We iterate through each slug and return both data and parameters that we can use in our template. These values are accessible through either astro.props or astro.params. Let's display them in our HTML. This gives us a complete simple example of dynamic road. Now let's run our app and see results in the browser. To preview our dynamic pages, we need add posts slash to the path along with the one of the slugs. As you can see, these pages are now available. Let me show you how to use this approach with a dynamic list of slugs instead of hard-coded ones. First, let's add an API request to get the list of posts. For this request, we will need to import the API base URL from the end file and install Axios. In my case, the ID of each post equals its position in the array plus one. I will create an array from one to the length of the post list. This will be our slugs. Then we will add an API call for post data as we iterate through the list of slugs and add response data to props. We will display in the HTML like this. Let's test this in the browser. You will see that entering any number between 1 and 100 will display a unique page for that specific post with its own data. When we build our app by running npm run build in the terminal, Astro will generate a separate static page for each post, all from a single Astro template file. That wraps up our tutorial on implementing dynamic routing in Astro static sites. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Drop any question you have in the comment below. Thank you for watching and happy coding!